Think about this upheaval. We didn't get the upheaval last draft, so we gotta, <laughs> we gotta keep chasing that high. No, I said, meh. I don't think that was the biggest miss at all. Disagree. Our inability to actually win a game was pretty high up there. More important than denying the opponent cards. Thinking about this channel, do the blue-green thing. The issue is that these blue cards are really good, right? The counter spell and the Mystic Confluence is an issue. With a upheaval pick, we'd probably take Confluence over Counterspell, because we're, like, we're probably going to take Fast Bandit with upheaval. I'll take the channel. Fair enough. Yeah, probably a high-powered pack, huh? For us to get Oko third, and library's still going around. A couple mocks or something. Looking at the Steve, looking at the Wooded Foothills. I think I'm going to go Steve. Both fix, but like we care about acceleration here with the upheaval. So the Force Negation doesn't help us protect the Oko and the Upheaval. Force Negation is like more of a controlling card, hum. You're still gonna want it in your like your channel mirrors or if the opponent's doing combo stuff. But I think overall the pest infestation is gonna be better for us. Kind of another payoff for a bunch of mana. Just a good card. And we don't know how blue we're gonna be, right? We don't know if we're gonna be blue enough for Force Negation. Pendant Prism here is tempting. You can filter for the double green for turn two channel. Not bad with upheaval. I think you just take the ignoble anyway, but. Prism is tempting. Fast Bond. Yeah, Fast Bond upheaval is okay, but not enough to play Fast Bond in the deck by itself. Yeah, there has been Power Creep Magus the Moon. I do think it's appropriate for Library to go later than it used to, for sure. But I agree that, like, Pick 7's still on the late side. Still on the late side for Library. Still shouldn't be wheeling. My opinion on Library now matches what LSV's was, like, four or five years ago. <laughs> It's now like a 4th to 7th pick for me. Unless it's a weaker pack, of course. Just like not taking it over a lot of new cards, right? Ragavan, Fury, Solitude. Like There's just like so many good new cards it's competing with now. Whereas the question used to be, do you take Library over Mind Twist or Channel or, um, or Mana Drain? Like those were the only like cards in consideration. Yeah, we're going to take the Trop here. Solemn's tempting though. Solemn's mighty tempting. Can't pass a good duel. We've been we're talking about the other library mega attack. We'll force the big for the cyborg. We are gonna be hating on artifacts, huh? I just had like three decks in a row that would have loved Zerda. Now we see it. Why do you come to me now when I'm like this? It is a nice clean start, yeah. I have no idea what your reasoning is even trying to do there, Herbal Fan. It reads like a troll to me. Ulamog did not wheel. That's all right. There'll be other channel channelables. Ulamog's a really nice one though, because it like wins the game off channel, and then you can also just cast it. Mirror Battle Sphere is on like the low end of channelables. It's still worth it, worth it, but we're gonna take Sanctum over it. Still gonna take a Premium Fixer there. I don't want any of these cards. If there are more cards that are better than Library, you will take Library later, Hippophant. That's all the reasoning you need to do. You don't need to spin your wheels here. <laughs> There's no mental gymnastics you need to dance around. It's very straightforward. The Power Creep will push old cards back. Assuming those old cards are actually behind it, right? But you do still get packs that don't have... Okos and Furies and... Lelias and stuff. You don't want to play. You want to play against three Talirian Academy decks in a row as opponents. That would that would make the Force of Vigor look good, wouldn't it? Think about the Ancient Tomb. It's a little awkward with cha Channel, but you don't always draw the Channel, right? Talisman's interesting. I think I think those are the only two real options here. Itali, my love. What have I done? I think we're taking Nissa here. Dork is good for the turn two Oko. It fixes for the double green on Channel on Tomb. And this is just, like, very much an upheaval card. Portal's not a bad one for channel. We're just going to take the hoof, but Portal's not bad at all. Might end up not being a very good channel deck. That's fine. This track kind of sounds like, um, kind of sounds like Old Offspring. 
Anyone else notice that? I need some water. After this draft, draft portion, I'm going to do a water break. Real quick, like... Channeling into Blight still can get there sometimes. Sometimes it's just gross. I think I like the green sun here. Make the crater hoof more consistent. You think so, Daggerhawk? Yeah, that's kind of what I, the vibe I was picking up. Gargaroth here. I feel like I haven't faced much aggro this season, but Gargaroth is good against that. Gargles! Not a bad one to cast off Ancient Tomb, huh? Fof's not bad. I want, I want the Heath for the Trop. Got a whole nother pack, Uthanok. And you don't need stupid fast mana with upheaval. Like, if we untap with Nyssa, just have plenty. Yeah, Gargroth can gain life to offset Ancient Tomb. Can spit out three threes to boost uh, Crater Hoof. Pretty good. I guess we grab Corsair here, huh? Fill out our mid game a little bit. Or no, I want Kinnon. I want that Kinnon card. I think it could be real juicy. Throw a couple dorks. Throw some talismans in here. We got all the upheaval mana we want. Something that I uh, was surprised with was how good Kinnon's activated ability is in these ramp decks. You have a bunch of fucking like random SL Drawsy chilling in there as hits. Not us yet, but you know. The last time I activated Kinnon. It was pretty sweet. Nice of these ramp decks to have flood inhibitors, huh? I don't hate Rufellos here. I don't hate the Garrick either. I think we're in Rufellos. Garrick's more of a mid-range card, very consistent. Rufellos has a higher ceiling. We have a fetch for the Trop. Helps a lot. Helps a lot to have forest fixers for your off-color. Good old Rufellos. I think I like Endurance for the sideboard. I even main deck it. Correct, Kinnon does not work with Urza. If we get Natural Order, I'm going to want this Atraxa. But Titan of Industry is good to just fucking Green Sun into. I'm going to get Natural Order and I'm going to be sad. And y'all can like laugh at me when I'm sad. Look at that fucking sad guy. Doesn't have an Atraxa to Natural Order into. <laughs> That's how I'm imagining it. The Fuel, yeah. What was he thinking? Oh, shit, what up? Hey, Mr. Witless, since the 33 months. Your new show pitch is Oko and Kinnon going wacky adventures together. I'm down with that. We can get a taste of that this draft. Sounds like old rage. Does it? Yeah, I can kind of see it. Let's mog it up. This channel look good. Hmm... Yeah, more dorks could uh, help us turn to the Oko. Wouldn't hate that. A little QB action. QB's good. Poppin' Planeswalkers. Poppin' Walks. The nice thing about Questing Beast is it just has, like, every ability. So we need defense against Flyers. You know, there's probably a reach in there somewhere. Some lifelink for the races. If it hits your opponent for at least three damage, they have to sack a land. It's kind of fucked up. You can, immigrants. Yeah, Pest Infestation does not need a target. It's up to. We're going to take this Talisman of Curiosity. Not only is it our Talisman, but we're a little short on Kinnon juice. Might as well juice up our Kinnon. If it wasn't in the pack, the Sheldock and the Tireless Tracker would both be tempting to me. Yeah, the Horsemanship on Questing Beast feels egregious, doesn't it? I agree. I'm just going to grab the Breeding Pool. It's a little awkward if we end up shy on playables, but I'm still going to grab it here. Really like those duels with Rafellos. What's Kinnon Juice t taste like? That's not something that you can really... You shouldn't trust other people's review of uh, Kinnon Juice. That's something that you should try for yourself. Every person should uh, so should be fortunate enough to taste Kinnon Juice at least once in their lifetime. I don't think we're a Twister deck. I think we're a Chariot deck. Like Malorit? It's similar to Malorit. Somewhere between Malorit and Johnny Walker Blue. And uh, whale cum. Just like all the delicacies you can imagine. I don't believe you, Lord Sorrow. What kind of whale? Do you really need to ask machine schooling? It's kind of in the name. Whale cum. Sperm whale. You're just inverting it. How embarrassing would it be to have, sp to have like literal sperm in your name and then have bad tasting cum? Sup, Bard Sword 9. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for the nine months. Appreciate you. Thanks for supporting the stream. I'm sure you don't regret now.
Yeah, Grim Monolith, unlike Basalt Monolith, does not go infinite with Cannon. It's still a synergy, though. Yeah, these duels are fine. We're just, like, not going to be playing any islands. We're going to play, like, one for Steve. So Flash works with Titan of Industry and Rolled Spine Worm. Is that enough? Some weird bug in my room. I might have to run them just to have enough playables. Position kind of works with Chariot and Pest Infestation. I feel like Image is more consistent. Yeah, Flash and Worm is is good together. the The issue is if like Flash is just a dead card in your hand because you didn't draw the Worm, right? That's the concern. Real concern, I think. Yeah, we could have used like a couple more dorks. A Birds of Paradise would have been sexy. Help with these double blues. Yeah, I'm gonna go get a fly swatter. Oh, I need water anyway. I'll be right back in a minute, a few minutes. I see it. Just an appearance. Oh. Yeah, I don't know where it came from. Someone must have let it in. Going outside or something. Taking the garbage out, who knows. You think this sounds like the offspring? It does kind of. Could cut Questing Beast. It's like pretty mid-rangey. We could take, cut the flash combo and just run 17 lands. Minus flash, minus worm. It's pretty bad if you don't draw them together, right? This is the right deck to try it though. Where we have a bunch of other like potentially win the game synergies. We could cut like the Walking Ballista and the Questing Beast, which are both just like generally good cards. Oh shit, what up? Hey, Colin 3.0, thanks the sub, thanks the nine months. You went to your first ghost concert last night and my stream got you into them. Hey, hell yeah, Colin. I'll cheers that. Congratulations. That sounds like a good time. Did you have fun? I enjoyed Ghost a lot when I saw them. It's funny you said that, because like somebody else was asking me if I've heard of the band Ghost earlier today. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Played them a few times. Hey, Johnson, thinks the six months, thinks the half a year. So this would be 14 green sources, but um, 11 forests. 10 forests is enough. This is 7 blue, counting the talisman, 8 blue. And the Steve, 8 blue is pretty good. Lick it, I can do that. Turn to QB. <laughs> You're an unruly ch chatter, don't hit you. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna get you good. Actually, do we QB here through a fellow saying? I'm a little bit worried about the QB getting like outclassed. Let's Oracle. Feeling good about that decision. Don't love the flash on top of my library. Aim right above them. Flies? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're resting on like a table or something. You can like clap right above them. They'll fly right up into your hands. Ah, there it is. <laughs> might need glasses. I might need to put my glasses on to actually like see where it's landing. Get into my full fly hunter regalia. Get some fucking heat vision goggles. Jesus. Ooh. Waffled it. Damn. Is this fucking large? So it like zooms right above my eye level. Keeps scaring the bejeebus out of me. Well, I guess we just Nissa here, huh? I'm supposed to shock self and get the QB down. If I could just like scare it outside my study, I could like close the door too. I keep zooming around. Well, that's probably bad for me. Well, that makes everything worse, huh?
Did I see the new game for the Expanse? I did not. Yeah, this is gonna be the rest of the stream. Me fucking getting up like a paranoid person every time I see that thing. Hey, finally. Now, do we give it a turn? Is Ruffello's down? I think so. I guess it's a pretty good upheaval. Can we just like channel into it now? Play the Oracle. Can I play Sugar Ray's biggest hit? I cannot. I think we just Oko make a treasure here, and then if they play Rafelos on their turn too, we just steal it with Oko. And I think that's comfortably winning for us. I'm playing all your favorites, yeah. Yeah, I used to like Red Hot Chili Peppers a lot more. I still dig them, but when I was in college, they were a very common one for parties and such. I've not seen Red Hot Chili Peppers, no. I think I've heard about their live show. Is they like to play naked with like socks on their dongs, which I respect. Gotta respect respect the donger. Oh, what's up, Hoof? We did it! Hell of a card, that upheaval, huh? Hell of a card. Football night with the lads? Yeah, basically. I wonder if Pest Infestation should have come out. Come out with the opposition. But with this draw, we're just like green setting for a dork on two and then playing Kinnon into stuff. Is that enough? No, what are we mulling to? We mull this channel or something. We just don't have that many dorks, right? We've got like a dork. I think we just have to keep these hands. I guess we could green sun for two and just have our owner fellows. Maybe that's the line. So next turn we can play Kinnon and then make either play the Chariot or play Pest Infestation for four one ones. You think Orcish Bowmasters should have been green? I think you're right about that. Yeah, this thing's just gonna drive me insane my whole stream. Trying to see where it lands. We green sun for the Ruffellos. Obviously. <laughs> A good question. Only six mana next turn. Not enough for this Titan. Don't hate the Titan. But I guess we're just doing the Pest and Fest line. Unless they're blowing up another forest here. Not a war crime if it's fly. Not a war crime if you're not at war. Very specific type of crime. Seems like a weird thing to clarify, but people tend to screw it up. I think Chariot probably wants to trade with prime time here, huh? Trying to save as many creatures as possible for this hoof. Assuming I ever actually get there. I was worried about the, uh, like, eight mana destroy a land thing. Hey, Chase Foolery thinks the sob thinks the 12 months, the full year. You were introduced to rage at an aluminum treating of all places. Interesting. I don't remember the first time I heard Rage Against the Machine. 
But I do remember the first time I fell in love with Rage Against the Machine. My uh, college for the, um, what's it called? The Dark Room, where you have the red light going and stuff. We didn't actually have a, a red light set up for um, for photos. It was just all dark. We'd go, we would go into these like weird little. They were almost they were almost like porta potties. There were like three different booths where you would go in. You would blind fucking thread your your film film rolls or whatever. And it took fucking forever because you're like going by going by feel, you know. And if you felt like it fucked up, you just had to redo it blind. <laughs> And then you'd put the developer fluid in there, and then you go into the other room to actually develop the shit. But anyway, we had a big old stack of CDs, and I went to like a like a hippie liberal liberal arts uh, environmental college, right? Good instructors, good education, but even a little bit more hippy dippy than you might be thinking. The CD selection in the in the dark room was not great. <laughs> it's just like all this Jack Johnson and shit. I don't know. And there was one Rage Against the Machine album. And I just played it every single fucking time I was in there. Tap for three mana. Non land permanent, okay. What music did my parents listen to when I was young? When I was young, my parents mostly listened to folk music. Uh, old time specifically, and we would go to old time barn dances fairly regularly. And my mom and dad would like chip in for like playing with the band, and sometimes my mom would call dances. And then uh, when my sisters got older, sometimes they would. They all played fiddle. My mom and my my two sisters both played fiddle. So when my sisters got older, they would they would do that as well. Check Lamog the boot token. And then I could serve all at Minsk. I'd be trading the Kinnon. I think I don't care about the boot token. Let's just fucking Maga Minsk. And then uh, every summer we would go to the Winnipeg Folk Festival, which is pretty great because like it's a it's a super large festival and they don't just play folk music there like i was introduced to like a lot of blues acts um like i saw buddy guy headlined there one year um so there's like a lot of blues going on they were like there was one tent that would have like electronic acts and stuff and the 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 folk music net is very wide so there'd be people coming in from like australia and shit just a lot of different types of music and then i kind of furthered my love of electronic music just by being like way too online <laughs> like got recommendations just from like people that i gamed with and stuff people that i never met in person i didn't get into uh metal i didn't get into metal and punk until the end of high school when i started playing in garage bands i was in a punk band uh that in introduced me to like a lot of different stuff and then uh, that was kind of short. I actually got replaced in that band from a better drummer. Very small to town. Very small pool of drummers. Was not hard to improve upon me. Was not, it was not, was not difficult to find an upgrade. They managed. Uh, but then that same group of kids wanted to play metalcore. And so they started playing metalcore. But that drummer didn't have a double kick pedal. And I did have a double kick pedal. So their options were fucking dry for that. <laughs> so uh, I played with them for like a year or something. And I eventually quit that band because I was um, I was going to college and like doing, uh, like working a job and practicing three nights a week, playing shows on the weekend. And then I, like I had a full credit load, you know, I was trying to graduate in three years. So like I had something I had to go, right? But if you ever listen, if you ever listen to my tastes in metalcore, it's all bands from <laughs> from that time period, as opposed to newer acts. What did I study? I went to college for English and writing. Got a dual degree. The college that I went to, like I was just going for an English degree, but it was only like a couple more classes to get an, uh, a writing degree. I think we keep this actually.
with a chance of the turn two Oko. And I did not complete my minor. I had a philosophy minor, and the last year I was looking at uh, the courses I would have to take to actually finish it, and they were, <laughs> I was missing like two intro courses or something. And I was like, fuck that. <laughs> there's, 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 no way. there's no way I'm going back and doing that. Because I'd already done the the the, um, the more difficult philosophy courses that the that the college offered. And the, the instructor liked me a lot. He offered to give me letters of recommendation and such if I wanted to go to grad school. Which is an interesting offer <laughs> when I didn't even complete my minor. <laughs> I did finish undergrad in three years, but it's a little bit less impressive than it sounds. Oh, let's blow that up. I'd taken a couple courses when I was in high school. Not enough to not be considered a freshman, but made it a lot easier to get out in three years. Now that would have been a good one to pest and fest too. Can we hit a land so we can Oko the one ring? We cannot. Fuck. Flashing in Titan of Industry is almost interesting. Yes, yeah, do that. Hell yeah, can I win? You did as well, and literally nobody's impressed by it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, not that impressive of a thing. Just taking a couple extra courses. Yeah, it's not it's not that impressive because like a lot of people that get degrees are like also working full time and shit and like taking courses at night and that sort of deal. The college that I went to though, the average uh, time to graduate was definitely over four years. Uh oh, what are they tinkering up? The answer of light steel, just Landoko. There were so many five and six year degrees. Oh, they just tinkered for Basalt Monolith? Nice. Oh, I can't ask them. I can't ask them what their hand is. <laughs> I disabled chatting, so I can't ask them. <laughs> How is chat disabled? It's a setting. I could go undo it. Oh, that's pretty good. Can I beat this? I don't think I can. You win. Yeah, it's not enough mana. Yeah, I'm definitely boarding in Force of Vigor and Frost Titan and cutting this one, and... I don't think we saw stuff to Ballista. The opposition's better than Frosty. Might be easier to cast. Well, Frosty's better against um, the One Ring. Keep it tapped down. Yeah, let's jam this. Is this the worst hand of all time? It can't be that bad. Turn three, we can, like, Oracle into Chariot. <laughs> I think Frost Titan is one of the weaker cards in the cube, Mog Fantastic. Yeah, Mish's Workshop's still a good card, huh? Feeling good about my decision to kill Grim Monolith. I don't really channel into that shit, do I? I'm gonna do it. Yeah, the chariot feels like good pressure. We'll see. This one ring card. This is some real hogwash. Language? No, I'm just talking about my opponent's name is Hogwash. That's their, that's their name. Oh, I only played one land, right? I should have sacked this Steve before passing. Fuck. If I draw a land next turn, y'all have my permission to pelt me with tomatoes. What could win this for me, up people? Is Crater Hoof good enough? Five, six, seven, eight. It's like borderline, right? 
4 times 4 is 16. 22 plus 5 is 27. It does force them to block with a Battle Sphere, so I guess that's all right. Get the One Ring going. Did y'all see that fly? I just fly right book, fly by my face. You might not be able to see it because it's like the camera and I'm like a tiny little picture in your thing, but my god, it's pissing me off. Hey, John Likes Games. Thanks for the raid. Hope you had a dope stream. You saw a bird? Yeah, right? That's what it feels like. Oh, I guess the Battle Sphere just gets to block a cat token. They're not blocking the Oracle with enough to kill it. Why wouldn't they do that? God damn it, FPS. Yeah, there they go. You're jamming the Arena Cube? Nice. Yeah, I think I might do some of that tomorrow to prep for the open. What have you been liking in the Arena Cube? Anything sweet? be okay if I stopped everything to address the fly issue. I just don't know how long it's going to take, Ninjustin. You know what I mean? I tried. I tried for a little bit. Spent a few minutes chasing it around. It, like, can't be the rest of the stream, right? You like Mono White a lot? Cool, cool. Like Tom and Jerry? Yeah. Yeah, very similar. I need something with this one ring, huh? They're at three. It's got three counters. Tinker. Tinker's an answer. Salt gun. Y'all have an arsenal <laughs> for just this situation. Sure. They got my finale, hum. I'm not sure finale would be good for me. Not actually sure what I need here. I guess my top decked worm would be pretty good with this flash, hum. Not the worst draw. Upheaval. Just put the cherry back in play. I mean, the Force Vigor is still great, right? Kill Leyline Binding, kill Mirror Battle Sphere. Still seems good. I think it's obviously Basara. I think it's the 36 months, the three years. I wonder if I'm supposed to lead on the flash. See if they respond with memory jar. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I really wonder if they would have responded to Flash. I crack the memory jar. That would have worked out so well for me. Cry. Isn't that not the card they needed to kill? Didn't they need to kill a cat token there? Well, I guess I'm glad I didn't concede this game. Close one, eh? Won that match? That was the whole match? Oh, I guess that was the other one where they played Minsk and it like wasn't good enough. Sick. Uh, I think this is a mall. We're just kind of like doing like mid rangey bullshit. It's not, not really what the deck is designed to do. Oh, hey. Oh, hey there. Super close match, yeah. Oh no, Hogwash. You were going to tinker away the One Ring for the Sphinx of the Steel Wind, and then you drew it. Brutal. Yeah, I don't think I'm beating Sphinx of the Steel Wind in that spot, huh? Is it Worm Time? It appears to be Worm Time, yeah. It appears to be the case. Casting the Flash on their turn means that Force Negation's not an out. 
And then you want to play it before the second land, so they don't have Counterspell, right? Alright, 15 power, turn 2. What do you got? This is a little bit better than Rhino's, huh? Absolutely mod fantastic. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with that, just Wiggles. If you have a curve that Soul Ring's not casting very many cards. A little narrow. Someone else was talking about that, too. I think I'm supposed to besiege you this prism. I would need to see the deck in question to know if I would play it. But Reanimator is probably the one the one archetype. Or like some versions of uh, of Mono Red if you have like a really tight curve full of one drops. Soaring still needs to ramp you into something. It's just that 99% of decks have stuff to ramp into. Right, tacos. And even a deck with like a few three drops is gonna like run out of uses for Soul Ring pretty quickly. How do I feel about the changes this time around now that I've had time to digest? Uh, largely stay with my initial assumption, obviously, Basara. Really, uh, we lost a lot of dregs and we gained a lot of heaters. And a lot of the cards that got added actually like made other cards better. Like Xurnorb is better, fucking. Um. Because Titania got added. Zerda being added made the um, Enlightened Tutor much better. So that fucking rules. Yeah, like a lot of a lot of the cards in the cube um, improved. Just sweet. God damn that fucking thing. Is it going to rest? Just rest your tired little wings. Fucking A. Oh. Aha! Suck it! Suck it, fly! Ah, oh, that's so much better. So it rested, it rested on like one of my, um, one of my pieces of fine art that I have in here, which now has like bug, bug guts split, sprayed across the front of it. Do you want me, do you want me to show you? Is that a gross thing to show on stream? <laughs> I feel, I feel like people might want to see, am I about to brag about killing a fly? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know how long I was chasing that thing? I don't know. I don't know how easy it is to see. But the guts are like smeared across right there. Set that down so I remember to clean it later. Hey, think my Bobby, thinks the sub, thinks the 62 months. The fly overlords reached out. They said they're coming for me. Good, let them come. I've got the, the taste for blood, fly blood. <laughs> Mounted in commendation of my hunt. Catch it with chopsticks? No, no, no. I'm not very good with chopsticks. That's the only thing stopping me. <laughs> Y'all bet? <laughs> Y'all bet on it? Won. <laughs> which, which was people... Was betting still open when I like, resolved it? Early voters getting punished. I wonder what my opponent's up to over there. Did they mull pretty low? They must have. Yeah, they must have mulled to five on the play. Training chopsticks that are attached to the top. It's That's not the issue. Like, I can hold chopsticks and eat with them. It's a matter of, like, my hands start cramping up at some point. I also hold pencils weird. Just shitty hands. I think we get questing beast here. Or just get Oracle. Just get Oracle back. You've heard someone refer to me as that weird hand man? I don't mind that. I would rather... Someone like... Man, I almost held this Odawara too. And I'm getting punished. Because if I hold it, I can bounce the Oracle and replay it. Yeah, I would rather someone say like... <laughs> rude shit behind my back or in front of my face than like ask me questions about it and have to explain most banal of fucking yeah my wrists suck that's why I wear wrist braces isn't this a good story what did you think my answer was gonna be that sort of deal 
four mana. Not a Jace, please. Urza? Urza's fine. You can play Urza. Yeah, I can still use fucking chopsticks eye catching. I just suck with them. <laughs> I understand that hand exercises exist. It's not a big thing in my life where I'm like, oh man, gotta eat another fucking meal with giant chopsticks. <laughs> if only there was a way. Unsolicited advice. The worst kind of advice. Eat all day, right? Eight, nine, ten. It's like not even that good here. <laughs> hey, Painless Quill, thinks about 36 months there, the three years. This is getting bounced, the World Spine Worm. Yeah. Masters is interesting. Good one to know about. Them bouncing does prevent them from playing um, Grave Titan this turn. So that's kind of nice. <laughs> it's very similar to that FPS, yeah. No, I've never heard of Melatonin. Thank you for this miracle. Random person. So we want to board in Memory Jar, right? Feels like draw sevens are good against this opponent. Trick is to draw your cards before they play the Shieldred, so then the Shieldred can't get you. Yeah, Kugla looks good against them. Kugla and um, Blista's already in. Not sure what I've cut for the Kugs. Maybe Titan of Industry. I just want to make sure that I can answer a Shieldred, because that card's fucked up. They're both pretty good with Flash. Uh, yeah, right? I don't know. Oh, you're fine, eye-catching. You're fine. Often my reaction to random off comments is uh, stemming from <laughs> doing this for years and years and years and not um, nothing that wrong with the comment itself, you know? Well, this hand sucks now. I guess I'm glad I didn't like mulling to the Inquisition. Well, they must have mulled on. They must have mulled to five again. Are we going to lose to another mold of five? Is that, is that just what this match is going to be? Fucking finals, too. I mean, one game one? This is game three. I guess if we get another green source, we can finale for something. Do we just pest infest with nothing to kill? Just get some one ones in play? Did we see anything to kill with it in the earlier games? I feel like we, di we didn't really. Nice if they played a talisman for me. Yeah, let's play it. Really need that other green source. I believe is any land in the deck. Oh, uh, that's fine. Like they're countering a literal make two one ones. I love that trade for me. I guess Ancient Tomb wouldn't do it, huh? One issue is that now that they're in this range, they could just like play a shield and I would just sit here and die before I actually do anything relevant. Yep. This was fun. This was a good time. Y'all yeah, remember that game I lost in the finals where I kept a two-lander and saw a third land but never got land number four? My opponent started playing Grave Titans before before I could play my Ruffellos. Somehow. Oh, we can block that one at least. I'm down to one card in hand. Fuck, but I do, I do need to draw a, a, a thing, deck. I do need a thing. God. Briefly got my hopes up. So very briefly. Hey, Luke Holmes thinks the nine months. Okay, new deck. I'm gonna pack one, pick one.
Thank you.